Hello! Welcome back to the second YouTube live stream. Right along, we're going to write some poems today, which we did on the last one, but at the very end. Hopefully we don't end up writing about loincloths. It may get worse than that, it may be better. Uh, last time we did have some technical difficulties. Hopefully I've ironed those out. Last time I couldn't get to the chat box there we go I couldn't get to the chat but I have now got it I've got my phone next to me so hopefully it will all run a bit smoother um, as with all my live streams I will try to my phone is going off uh, I will try to hang around a little bit and let people join the stream if you have joined the stream, or if you, yes, if you do join the stream, please do introduce yourself in the chat box. You are going to need um, the chat box handy, because that's how we're going to communicate and write the poem. So if you're here, please do introduce yourself, just say hello and maybe a bit about your poetry background. If you do have a poetry background, if not, don't worry. This is all light-hearted stuff anyway. We're not going to be writing sonnets or masterpieces today. So I will just hang around for a little bit, see if anyone pops in, or if I end up writing on my own, which is highly possible. We hit 320 subscribers today, so thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Fair warning, as you can see I'm in my shed, it's a very hot day, I will slowly become sweatier and sweatier, because it's very hot in this shed. Hello Delgo, I see Delgo, hello, that's great, cool. Yes, as I was saying, I will get sweatier as this video goes along, because I'm already very, very hot. Very, very hot. So we'll get round to um, writing some poems soon. I'll give it, I'll give it until five past, just to see if anyone pops in. Hopefully they do. The more people, the better. Felicia, Anelli, here we go. Okay, cool. Hello, Felicia. Hello, Adam. I hope you've been well. I have. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Felicia. Hello, Felicia. I'm Blood Moon Blossom. That's such a good Instagram handle, by the way. Uh, I've been writing poetry since fifth grade. Haven't looked back. Fantastic. That's amazing. Awesome. I hope you have fun today. As I say, we're not going to be writing any masterpieces. It's all just going to be light-hearted. Last time we wrote about a loincloth. So, Anelli. Hi, Anelli here. I've been writing almost my whole life. Fantastic. Brilliant. You guys are uh, bigger veterans than I am. Haven't you got a fan? I have, but it will be really loud, and that's all you'll be able to hear in the background, so I'm keeping it off for now. But if I get very hot, and if I get very sweaty, I may have to put it on. I'm really sorry that the video quality isn't as good as my normal videos. This is straight from my laptop, rather than my phone. Um, but it will do. Hopefully it will do. Hopefully you'll let me off. Has anyone been writing any poems this this week? Has anyone got anything down that they want to? Maybe you, you want to share it. Uh, I will say that um, I just want to remind you that you do only have two two hundred characters in the chat box. So uh, when we get into the writing games, just keep that in mind because you will be writing a poem, a whole poem. Um, so just remember that uh, you've only got 200 characters. Someone's just pulling up beside me with some music playing. I don't know if you can hear it. I just look stupid, probably. You look okay. Thank you very much. Uh, as you know, I don't keep my stuff. You should keep your stuff, Benelli. Uh So all I have is since December last year. Well, at least you've got something. You should always keep your stuff. 
I'll give it one more minute and then uh, we'll crack on. We've got four people. I've only got, at the moment, I've only got Delgal, Felicia and, and Nelly taking part. If you do want to take part in the games, please do uh, just drop me a line in the chat box so I know that you're here. Because eventually there will be a running order. Um, and if I don't know you're here and want to take part, I won't be able to call your name. So, we'll give it... Oh, it's five past now. So, I guess we'll get started then. And if anyone... If anyone drops in as we play, we will slot them in. So, let's go to this. And I'm going to have to go to this. Okay, YouTube right along. If you're... I don't think there are any patrons in the house. Actually, Del Girl's a patron. So, if you're a patron, you'll be very familiar with this. This is exactly what I do with all my patrons. Every month we do a write-along, although I have paused it, so um, we haven't done one of these for a while. Uh, but this is exactly what I do with my patrons, so you're getting a glimpse into that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to write a whole poem. Sorry, my phone just went off. We're going to write a whole poem. I'm going to write a whole poem, you're going to write a whole poem, uh, but there's going to be a prompt. Now, I'm going to let you guys choose what that prompt is. So if you drop something into the comments, what you want us to write a poem about, and I'll pick the one that I think is the most entertaining. Uh, yes, I've written this week, but it is already shared. Yes, thank you so much, Nelly. I really love that birthday poem. I can't believe you took time to sit down and write something for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So if someone wants to drop our prompt in the chat box, it can be as crazy as you want. Uh, last time, as I say, last time someone dropped the prompt a loincloth and we ended up writing a whole poem about a loincloth. So really there's no hold, no holds barred. Is that the right saying? No holds barred with this. So just drop a word that comes to mind and we'll see which one I think is the most entertaining. We'll go from there. I don't know why my screen's doing that. Sorry about that. It's flickering on my flickering on my straw hat. Okay, I'll give it a couple of seconds. I'll give it about another 30 seconds to see if anything else comes in. Rebirth. Very nice. Okay. Straw hat or rebirth. Interesting. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe we'll write a poem about a uh, rebirth through a straw hat. Celio Martin. Celo Martin. I hope I said that right. Or is it Chilo? Chelo? Martin. Hi, I'm new here. Thank you very much for stopping by. Nice to have you. I go by Peachy online. Maybe Warped Reflections as a prompt. Warped Reflections. Very nice. Okay. So i got to pick between rebirth, straw hat, and Warped Reflections. <sighs> I wish I had like an app where I could just roll a dice between one and three. Okay. I go by Peachy. I'm not sure we've come across each other on Instagram. If we have, I'm really sorry. Chelo or Salo? I'm going to go with, just because it's the first poem, I'm going to go with Rebirth. I think we could probably do a poem about rebirth. So, again, you've only got 200 characters in the live stream chat, so don't go over 200 characters. Just keep it light, keep whatever comes to mind, you know. Um, and yeah, write a poem about rebirth. I'm going to write a poem. You'll see my poem come up on the screen. Excuse me. And then once we're done, just share it in the chat box and I'll read them out. And um, We'll go from there. We'll move on to the next one once everyone's done that. So, cheers and good luck. All right, let's see what we got. Rebirth. Rebirth. 
stuff. Also, if you want to, um, I've still got my eye on the chat as well, so feel free to just talk away and I'll read your comments out, no problem. Rebirth, okay. I mean, I'm kind of cheating because I'm I'm not using the chat to write my poem because I know you can all see it on my screen, so I'm going to have a lot more than 200 characters. I just remembered also there's no enter. You can't you can't use different lines where I am here. So maybe if you want just use a a, a slash or some sort of punctuation just to signify you know what I mean, signify line breaks, I guess. See, I don't really believe in rebirth, but I know the concept. As I strolled along the leafy lane, the sun dancing in and out of the treetop. This is Del Girl, by the way. In and out of the treetop. I stopped and looked around and was in wonder at all the rebirth of the bluebells and daffodils standing strong. See, now that's a nice chirpy poem about rebirth. For some reason, I always go down this route of just depression. Little springtime. Uh, this is uh, Salo or Chalo. I really hope I'm saying that. Right, uh, like uh, little springtime petals, like freshly wash washed cloth, we wither and grow, shiver and show, boom, our blossom of true colours, wow, little springtime petals, like freshly washed cloth, we wither and grow, shiver and show, our blossom of true colours, love it. We both went for the flower theme. You did indeed. As I strolled along the leafy lane, the sun dancing in and out of the treetops, I stopped and looked around and was in wonder at all the rebirth of the blue bells and daffodils standing strong. Damn. You guys are all chirpy and you got the, the flowers and everything going. And I'm writing something about a guy in, in a hospital bed. Okay. Uh, I will be quick. 
because I am slow. That's beautiful, Dale Girl, and yours, Chelo. We must be on the same wave. Spell cocooning. Uh oh, I'm gonna embarrass myself now. Oh, did I get it? I got it. Uh, cocooning. I don't know. Uh, where am I on the comments? We must be on the same wavelength. Yep. My body rebirthed many times, yet my soul is endless. What physical shape I this time have is of no greater importance. It is my soul I want to show. A stained glass spirit, colourful, fragile, silent, shatter, reform, great in all. Thanks, the last word. Could be share, not show. Uh, so then it reads, My body rebirthed many times, yet my soul is endless. What physical shape I this time have is of no greater importance. It is my soul I want to... I've already forgotten. Shit, I ruined your poem again. Sorry, Anneli. What was the word? Share. Okay, let me try again. I'm butchering your poem, Anneli. I'm so sorry. My body rebirthed many times, yet my soul is endless. What physical shape I this time have is of no greater importance. It is my sh soul I want to share. I like the ethereal feeling in your poem, Anneli. That is lovely, Anneli. Amazing. So I'm going to go back and read all the poems now. I think I got really grim with mine. And I've just ruined everyone's tone, I'm sorry. So where do we go? Hello, hello. Everyone's saying hello. That's cool. Okay, as I strolled along the leafy lane, the sun dancing in and out of the treetops, I stopped and looked around and was in wonder at all the rebirth of the bluebells and daffodils standing strong. That was from Delga. Uh, Chelo, little springtime petals like freshly washed cloth. We wither and grow, shiver and show our blossom of true colours. Anneli. My body rebirthed many times, yet my soul is endless. What physical shape I this time have is of no greater importance. It is my soul I want to share. These are amazing. And then I'm going to come in and just ruin the tone of everything uh, with mine. <laughs> I guess I'm a dark soul, I don't know. Light of starry flies lay dormant above as his life flashed in and out of dirty cream. The beeping monitor ever slowing, his breath ever fading. And he pressed his palms to his thighs, cocooning in his sheets, ready to flap his wings. Amazing. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed that first game to kind of get the creative juices flowing. And Yeah, I hope. We are all on a roll now. Thanks, everyone. I'm blushing. It was very good, Anneli. Well done. You didn't read Felicia, didn't I? Oh, shit. Sorry, Felicia. I didn't do that on purpose. Felicia's, to wrap it all up, round one is thus. A stained glass spirit, colourful, fragile, silent, shatter and reform. Please forgive me, Felicia. I'll read yours first next time. I messed up there. Thank you, Del Gal, for, sh for telling me.
I can never do anything smoothly. Something always goes wrong. I hope you're not too offended, Felicia. I did get there in the end. Cool, let me know if you guys are ready to move on to game two. Which is where things get really interesting. You're good, Adam. Thank you, Felicia. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Del. Thank you, Del, girl. I appreciate you looking out. That's what makes it fun, not scripted. Absolutely. Okay, if everyone's ready to move on to round two, let me know. I've run out of coffee already. I always do this. I drink my coffee way too fast. Yup, let's go. Sweet. shalo has got that energy. He's vibing. He's got that... I, I assume it's a he. I'm really sorry. Uh, got the creative energy going. Okay, let's move on to round two, which is a line-by-line -line poem. So, that means I'm going to give you a running order. I'll do the first line, then someone will do the second line, then once they've submitted their line, uh, the next person will follow on from that line, and so forth, so on and so forth, until the poem naturally finds its end. Does everybody understand? Is anybody confused before we move on? I will uh, get a running order for you now. Don't know why my screen keeps shaking. I hope it's not doing that for you. And just so nobody gets confused, I will write the um, running order here. So have it. No. Um, all is clear, all good. Cool, brilliant. So hopefully, of course this is a live, so what I do, and then the time it takes from me actually doing it and getting to you is a few seconds delay. So just let me know if everyone can see the running order. So I will kick off with the first line, then Delga will follow up my line, then Anneli, Felicia, Chelo or Sailor. And then once everyone gives me the thumbs up or just ready to go, we will crack on. Although having said that, we need another prompt as well. So on this one I've got a genre, so let me know. Delgo keeps saying no. Okay, don't worry, Delgo, if you can't see it, um, you're basically following me anyway, if that helps. And I, I will put my line into the chat so you can see it. Because I realise some people, they're watching on phones. Um, some people watch on their phones and can't see the text that I'm writing. Uh, so I'll, I'll put my lines in the chat. Okay, everyone's got the running order. Adam, Delgo, Anneli, Felicia, Chelo. Uh, now we need a prompt, a genre. So, do you want to write a comedic poem? Do you want to write a deep, dark poem? Um, do you want to write about the weather, the seasons? Whatever comes to mind, just let me know. Throw it in the chat, and I again, I will pick one. I think I'll I'll pick the one I think will be most entertaining. And it can be whatever you want, whatever first comes to mind. Just try and keep it family friendly. 
Not deep dark, we have enough of that. Okay, fair enough. No deep dark poems. We can do a comedy, uh, comedic poem if you like. And if we do it a comedic poem, we'll just have to see where it goes. I won't I won't give you like a a word prompt as such. We're just gonna get the genre down so we know we're writing a nature, okay? So we got Delgo I agree, nature, okay. I'll just see if anything else you're right. I'm just having a think. Okay, in that case, let's do a comedic poem. Keep it light. Uh, about nature. So we'll do that. Right. Comedic poem on nature. So I will do my line. I'll do it under this. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to try and think of something. I think we go with fallacious nature. Right, we're going to do a comedic one on nature, and I am going to do the opening line, which is... I don't know. Okay. Bear with me two seconds. Feel free to... Uh, talk in the chat as well, just because I don't want you to get bored whilst I'm thinking. Okay, never mind, I got my first line. So Delgo, you're going to have to follow up this. I hope you got that. The thing I hate most about walking in the woods. That is the first line. Some of you may see what I've got in mind with that line, but just go with the flow. Don't don't try and what am I trying to say here? Don't. Uh, so if some of you can see where I'm going with this, if you can, don't worry about trying to take it there. If you've got something completely different in mind, that's where the fun comes in. Constantly having to. Uh, follow up with all these twists and turns. I really kind of want to encourage just have some fun. Have some fun and, and just go wild. Just try and keep it family friendly if you can. trusting you guys not to start effing and blinding all the time although I think I've already sworn about three or four times in this live stream anyway there's all the birds pooping on my head <laughs> here you go the thing I hate most about walking in the woods is all the birds pooping on my head great so uh, Anneli we throw it to you That's kind of where I was going, yeah. I was thinking more along the line of canines, but you got there. I've only ever been pooped on a bird once, and that was in Florida. Uh, upon that, the bird's quack sounded as laughter. Upon that, upon that, the bird's quack Birds quack sounded as laughter. Okay, Felicia, take it away. 
upon that the birds so so far we've got the thing i hate most about walking in the woods is all the birds pooping on my head upon that the birds quack sounded as laughter laughters I see that some new people have joined the live stream. If you do want to take part, just introduce yourself in the chat and we can throw you in at the deep end. Adam, you are slow. It's not my turn. What do you mean I'm slow? Uh, what was I saying? Yes, I see there's some people watching the live stream. If you do want to take part, it's not too late. Just introduce yourself in the chat room and uh, we can throw you at the bottom of the running order. At the moment, we're writing a comedic poem on nature and we're taking it line, line by line. So do free, feel free to join in. We got another new viewer. So um, I'll say that again in case you missed it. Do feel free to join in, it's not too late. Um, just introduce yourself in the chat room, you do need access to the chat room, which should be either on that side of the screen or down below, depending on the device you're on. And um, yeah, we're writing a poem about nature, a comedic poem about nature, doing it line by line, so do feel free to jump in. And Nelly, what do you mean I'm so slow? It's not my go. I did the first line. Do you mean I'm slow typing? I thought I was a pretty, thought I was a pretty quick typer. Question: How do we know when the poem ends? Good question. Um, I will trust your instinct, and when we feel like the poem comes to a natural end, I won't let it go on for too long. Don't worry. Um, we'll at least get through one round. If the poem's still going, we'll wait until it comes to a natural end, or we won't go longer than two rounds. So, um, yeah. My line is up. Ah, uh, I don't see your line, Felicia, I'm sorry. Does anyone else see Felicia's... Does anyone else see Felicia's line in the chat room? Because I might be having some technical difficulties. I've only got Felicia saying my line is up rather than... Unless that is your line. I assume that isn't your line, though. So far we have the thing I hate most about walking in the woods is all the birds pooping on my head. Upon the birds quack sounded as laughters. No, I can't see it. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm really sorry, Felicia. You're having a hard time on this. First I forget to read your poem um, and I don't think your line sent. Would you mind maybe typing it out again if that's not too much to ask? I already wrote mine when you said I should. You're prepared, Anelli. You're a prepared individual. No pressure, my fellow poets, but it seems like we've got some spectators. No pressure on you at all. We're just waiting on Felicia's line because unfortunately we're having some technical difficulties and it didn't come through. It won't let me type it. Oh no. It might be because it's longer it's more than 200 characters. Remember, hang on. Remember we only have 200 characters unfortunately.
mocking. They're mocking. <laughs> Doing it word for word. Okay, here we go. Let's go. They're mocking. Oh, I'm not typing. Oops. They're mocking. Mocking. They're mocking honks. Leaving me scathed. They're mocking honks, leaving me scathed. Okay, I'll give it 20 seconds, Chelo. I'll give it 20 seconds just to make sure we got everything from Felicia. And if nothing else comes through, the ball is yours. Hungry. If only I could fly up there and give them a piece of my mind. If only I could fly up there and give them a piece of my mind. Okay, so we've got the thing I hate most. Oh. Already wrote it, sorry. No worries, I think we're good anyway. It's all good. The thing I hate most about walking in the woods is all the birds pooping on my head. Upon that, the birds quack sounded as laughters, their mocking honks leaving me scathed. If only I could fly up there and give them a piece of my mind. Okay, so it's my go now. We go again. The thing I hate most about walking in the woods is all the birds pooping on my head. Upon that, Birds quack sounded as laughters, the mocking honks leaving me scathed. If only I could fly up there and give them a piece of my mind. Okay. Alright, Del Girl, I'm just going to post my line. But usually I find if I break off a branch. The thing I hate most about walking in the woods is all the birds pooping on my head. Upon that, the birds quack sounded as laughters, their mocking honks leaving me scathed. If only I could fly up there and give them a piece of my mind. But usually I find, if I break off a branch, actually I won't have that as a little one of yours. It's probably just going to be. So uh, yeah, we'll just do this last round. So um, I do ask that you keep that in mind. Um, and Trello, you will have the last line. No pressure, my friend. You will take us home. But usually I find if I break off a branch, but usually, so the thing I hate most about walking in the woods is all the birds pooping on my head. 
Upon that the bird's quack sounded as laughters, their mocking honks leaving me scathed. If only I could fly up there and give them a piece of my mind. But usually I find, if I break off a branch, They fly high in the sky, weaving in and weaving in and out, teasing me with their screeching. I hope you don't mind, Delgar. I'm just going to add a word there. They fly high in the sky, weaving in and out, teasing me with their Brilliant. And Nelly, I believe you're next. The thing I hate most about walking in the woods is all the birds pooping on my head. Upon that, the birds quack sounded as laughters, their mocking honks leaving me scathed. If only I could fly up there and give them a piece of my mind. But usually I find if I break off a branch, they fly high in the sky, weaving in and out, teasing me with their screeching. Oh, you put a full stop. You put a full, full stop, sorry. There we go. They, so that's it. But usually I find if I break off a branch, they fly high in the sky, weaving in and out, teasing me with their screeching. Delgo, does branches fly? Give me a minute, please. Uh, I think we're talking about the birds flying high, not the branches. <laughs> Maybe the branches fly high. Maybe you're throwing the branches at the birds. I don't know. It's up to interpretation, I guess. What? The Seerbidit of the Brack Brawakigji? And then you okay, Del Girl? <laughs> just kidding. I'm just teasing. The s oh, sound, I think. The sound of the branch breaking. Got ya. The sound of the branch breaking. And Ellie. Fly in the sky, weaving in and out, teasing me with their screeching. So I think maybe we are throwing some branches then. The branches are screeching. Oh, now I get it. This could go one of two ways. It's up for interpretation. It's subjective. That's the great thing about poetry. Don't take it for face value, which I did. That was me slapping my hands, but I didn't get it in frame. Sound of the branch breaking. Just having a moment. No worries, that's fine. I got there. The thing I hate most about walking in the woods is all the birds pooping on my head. Upon that, the birds quack sounded as laughters, their mocking honks leaving me scathed. If only I had, if only I could fly up there and give them a piece of my mind. But usually, I find if I break a branch, they fly high in the sky, weaving in and out, teasing me with their screeching. Chelo, you've got the punchline, my friend. Hugs, Del. <laughs> oh, that's sweet, Felicia. I'm hunched over my laptop right now just to be in frame. I know that there's seven of us watching and there's five of us playing, I think. Yeah, five of us playing. So once we wrap up this poem and you're one of the people watching, 
do be encouraged to take part in the next game. We've got three lines left. And then we'll be on the next round. So do feel free to jump in the chat. And all I wanted was to make them stop popping on my head, not scare them off. And Ellie's just posted, don't worry, it's okay. And Ellie's just posted, now it's Felicia, and then it's Chalo to wrap us up. So, um, and all I wanted was to make them stop. I think we mean pooping here, so I'm going to put pooping. But if you did mean popping, make sure you tell me, because that means I'm changing your work, and I don't want to do that on my head. Not scared them off. Again, I, I assume we mean off. Scare them off. But let me know if I got that wrong. All right, cool. So Felicia, take it away, my friend. thing I hate most about walking in the woods is all the birds pooping on my head. Upon that, the birds quack sounded as laughters. Their mocking honks leaving me scathed. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. If only I could fly up there and give them a piece of my mind. But usually I find if I break off a branch, they fly high in the sky, weaving in and out, teasing me with their screeching. And all I wanted was to make them stop pooping on my head, not scare them off. Why can't we just be harmonious? Why can't we just be harmonious? All right, here we go. Poor chelo has got the whole weight of the poem on his shoulders right now. Drop the punchline, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh, chat's gone off. And all I wanted was to make them stop pooping on my head, not scare them off. Why can't we just be harmonious? Oh, we got another viewer. Hello, viewer. Um, please do feel encouraged to get involved in the chat. We're just about to finish this poem off. But in round three, um, if you introduce yourself in the chat, I can get you in the um, lineup and you can write some poetry with us. No, my head is a little lost. I'm just home from the hospital. No worries. That's okay, Anneli. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're okay. Um, you're all good, my friend. It's okay. Perhaps tomorrow I'll go outside and give being a bird a good try. And there you have it. There's our first poem, everyone. There's our first poem together, anyway. Perhaps tomorrow... I'll go outside and give being a bird a good try. Excellent. So our first poem together is this. The thing I hate most about walking in the woods is all the birds pooping on my head. Upon that the birds quack sounded as laughters, their mocking honks leaving me scathed. If only I could fly up there and give them a piece of my mind. But usually I find if I break off a branch, they fly high in the sky, weaving in and out, teasing me with their screeching. And all I wanted was to make them stop pooping on my head, not scare them off. Why can't we just be harmonious? Perhaps tomorrow I'll go outside and be tr and give, damn it, and give. See, I told you, I just ruin everything. I should just keep quiet and let you guys take over. I'll read that again because I messed it up. The thing I hate most about walking in the woods is all the birds pooping on my head. Upon that the birds quack sounded as laughters, their mocking honks leaving me scathed. If only I could fly up there and give them a piece of my mind. But usually I find, if I break off a branch, they fly high in the sky weaving in and out teasing me with their screeching. All I wanted was to make them stop pooping on my head, not scare them off. Why can't we just be harmonious? Perhaps tomorrow I'll go outside and give being a bird a good try. 
Awesome. Well done, guys. I'm just going to catch up on the track, uh, chat. No, my head is a little lost. I'm just home. For Again, I'm really sorry about that, Emily. I hope you're okay. Uh, nice job, everyone. Good job. Agreed. Hope your day gets better. That was good, Adam. You did well. I hardly did anything, my friends. You did all the work. I just had two lines in that. Okay, if we're all ready to move on to number three, let me know. Anyone that didn't take part in round two, that now wants to take part in round three, again, please drop me a message in the chat, which is either on that side or down below, depending on the device you're watching on. I will give us a minute or two for people to do that. In the meantime, we need another prompt. So, this is going to be a word prompt. So, I uh, hope you're better soon, Anneli. Absolutely. So yes, this one's just a word prompt. This is where we got loincloth from and we ended up writing about a loincloth last time round. So if you've got any ideas, any any words that come to mind, just throw them in the chat. As many as you want, I'll pick the one that I think is most interesting. And what we have to do, the poem doesn't necessarily have to be about this word prompt. But somewhere in the poem, one of us has to drop the word that we choose. I hope that makes sense. I hope I explain that well. So I'm going to give it two minutes. I'm going to give it until 53. I make it 1651. So I'll give it until 1653 just to see if anyone else wants to take part um, and to get that word prompt. So I invite you guys to have a go. It's now 52, so I'll give it until 54. And see if we get anyone else involved. Gliding. That's an interesting one. Gliding. I'll just see what else we get. It is scheduled treatment, so no worries, but thanks for your concern. Well, I still send my best to you, Anneli, and I still hope you're okay. And thank you for being here as well. Okay, so far we've got a prompt of gliding. I'm going to give it another minute. Pudding. Aren't you craving some right now? That could be interesting. Pudding. Gliding pudding. I may put those two together. We'll see what happens. I'll give it another minute to see if anyone else wants to join in the game. Um, or if there's any more word prompts that come in. Again, don't, don't think too hard. Um, we're here to have fun. So at the moment, as it stands, we may be having to include gliding pudding. Kisses. Can I put those three together? I can. I'm going to change that to kissing. And somewhere, some, someone, somewhere has to include gliding. Including one of them, cats. So it's more of a sentence prompt, which is actually the next, which is actually the next game. Ice cream. Okay, we're going to go with gliding, pudding, kissing. That's a lot of alliteration. Actually, that's not alliteration. So far, gliding, pudding, kisses sound interesting. Yes. C can it be kisses? Gliding, pudding, kisses. It can. Why am I changing it? There we go. Ice cream. We're going to go with gliding, pudding, kisses. It's now 54, so I'm going to assume that we're just going to have some spectators, and that's okay. But we still welcome you. Um, the pressure is on with my fellow poets. So let's change up the running, running order. I'll do the first line again. Let's go with Felicia. Hi. 
Okay, so the running order now is... I'm forgetting someone. Delgar. I'm so bad. I don't mean to forget anyone. So the running order is as follows. Adam, Felicia, JLo, Anelli, Delgar. Is that all good? Everyone with me? Now, feel free to have the courage to be the person that writes a line with gliding pudding kisses. If it feels right, it will be right. So, yes, have the confidence to be the person that uses the prompt. I'll just make sure everyone's ready to continue, and then I'll put in the first line. Oh, I didn't mean to forget you, Dale girl. I'm sorry. Yup, yeah, all good. Sweet, Chalo's in. Felicia, Anelli, are we all good to continue? Delgo? I didn't forget you that time. It's just I know you're there because you already said oh. Delgo's in. Cool. We're almost there. Almost ready to go. Almost ready to rock and roll. I appreciate you spending the time to come and write with me, by the way. Thank you. Felicia's ready. Just waiting for Anneli to lock in and then we will get started. I appreciate you spending the time this afternoon or this morning or this evening, depending where you are in the world, to come and write some silly poems with me about gliding pudding, pudding kisses and bird poop. I'm not sure what running time we're on now. Does anyone know how long we've been streaming for? Because I can't see it. Okay, I'm going to get started with my line. Anneli um, is a bit further down the list. So hopefully by the time we get to Anneli, um, we can lock her in. So, gliding pudding kisses. Okay, so my first line is that. I'm sure you can all tell that uh, I'm writing a lot about birdsong, and that's only because there's so many outside singing that that's all I can hear. About an hour, almost an hour. Cool. We're on track then. That's great. Thank you very much for your help. So the first line is birds sang through blue skies, I think. Yep, blue skies. There we go. Birds sang through blue skies. I'm such an idiot. Of course we've been streaming for nearly an hour because we started at four. And <laughs> it's now nearly five. I'm a simple man. <laughs> Honestly. With gliding pudding kisses. Whoa, she's done it already. With blind, gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. There you go. Dropped, dropped the mic. She's done it already. With gliding, with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. All right, now we can just have fun. We've got our prompt in already. So now we can just write whatever we want. Well done. Felicia for uh, having the courage to just go straight in. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. That sounds so nice. Gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds.
All right, so Chelo, the mic is yours, my friend. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. That's such a good line. Damn. I'm sorry if someone else wanted to do it. No, it's good. You had the confidence and you went with it. That's fine. A swirling fluffy mess of sweet pictures. Oh my gosh. These lines that are coming out from you. This is great. A swirling fluffy mess. Beautiful. A little ration. Sweet pictures. Damn. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. A swirling fluffy mess of sweet pictures. Ah, we've come to a Nelly and I think we may have lost a Nelly, unfortunately. And Nelly, are you still with us, my friend? Oh yes, and Nelly did say okay. Ignore me again, I got it wrong. Yeah, and Nelly's still here. I just missed that comment. Birds gliding, birds gliding, oh. with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds, a swirling puffy, swirling fluffy mess of sweet pictures. Dang. Damn, that's good. I see that we've lost a viewer. Oh, never mind. I was just going to say, I see we lost a viewer. I hope it wasn't Anelli, but we're good. We're still going. That lingered. That lingered in my head. Birds sang through blue skies, with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. A swirling fluffy mess of sweet pictures that lingered in my head. Damn! I don't know about you, but I think we're on a roll here. Okay, Del Girl, take it away. Birds sang through blue skies, with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. A swirling, fluffy mess of sweet pictures that lingered in my head. Oh, love it. That's so good. That's so good. Beautiful. Beautiful imagery. I lost the chat, bear with me. Oh. No, you haven't. Cool. I'm back. Hmm. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is a really great poem. Let me scroll down so you can see what's going on. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. Sorry, that was a bad reading. Let me start again. This deserves more attention. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. A swirling fluffy mess of sweet pictures that lingered in my mind. Oof. That is pretty, pretty good, guys. Proud. Now, to be honest, not to quit while we're ahead, but depending on what we get from Delgal, I'd be happy to move on. I think that's pretty solid. Pretty solid. D 
I could really do with a coffee again. Another coffee. Give me some food. Getting hungry. It's getting dinner time. I don't know if you just heard that. Right on cue, that was my belly rumbling. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. A swirling fluffy mess of sweet pictures that lingered in my head. Maybe it does need a couple more lines, but we'll see what we get from Delgo. As the birds fly high, more gliding pudding kiss. Oh, there's another one. She dropped the mic. As the birds fly high, more gliding pudding kisses appear. Okay, we keep going. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. A swirling fluffy mess of sweet pictures that lingered in my head as the birds fly high more... I'm going to change it, I hope you don't mind. As the birds flew high, more gliding pudding kisses appeared. Couldn't think of anything else, sorry, no problem. Birds fly high, more gliding pudding kisses appeared. And I smiled, thinking briefly. Okay. We're going to have to uh, wrap this one up. Uh, what was I going to say? We're going to, round two, we're, we're going to have to wrap the poem up now, otherwise, it could go on forever, as we still got a final round to go. And smiled, thinking briefly. And it should be, and I smiled, sorry. And I smiled, thinking briefly. Sorry, that should say, and I smiled. Okay. So we're going to wrap it up this round. So it goes, birds sang through this, birds sang through blue skies. With gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. A swirling fluffy mess of sweet pictures that lingered in my head. As the birds flew high, more gliding pudding kisses appeared. And I smiled, thinking briefly. So I passed the mic to Felicia. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses. I can't believe we're actually getting such a good poem out of, what was the prompt? Gliding pudding kisses. Birds sang through the blue, birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds, a swirling fluffy mess of sweet pictures that lingered in my head. As the birds flew high, more gliding pudding kisses appeared and I smiled thinking briefly of where those birds were headed where those birds were headed. Okay, Chelo. The poem is yours. The floor is yours. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kiss. Reminded me of something beautiful molded. Hello, uh, Kunal. I hope that's right. Uh, Chelo, in that case, we've had a new line come in. I'm going to put it in the poem. If you wouldn't mind uh, riffing off the last poem, uh, the last line, which is reminded me of something beautifully molded. And I'm going to put and at the start of that just so it flows with the rest of the poem and reminded me of 
something beautifully molded. Um, yeah, sorry, JLO, I hope you didn't start writing a line already. All good. Nice one. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. A swirling fluffy mess of sweet pictures that lingered in my head. As the birds flew high, more gliding pudding kisses appeared. And I smiled, thinking briefly of where those birds were headed and reminded me of something beautiful moulded. My back is hurting, folks. <laughs> I'm a fool. I know I'm a fool. Hopefully I'm a sufferable fool. The nature's beauty came alive, happiness guided. Uh, so, Kunal, I hope I said that right. We've actually got a an order in which people submit their lines. Um, so it's actually Chelo putting in the line now, then Anneli, and then Delgal, and then we're going to wrap up the poem, if that's okay. But once we move on to round four, we'll have a new... Uh, what's it called? A new order, and I will definitely throw you in uh, once we get to round four. We're just going to wrap this one up now, but I did put your last line in um, just so it didn't get wasted. I hope that's okay, my friend. This passing day was sweet as could be. This passing day was sweet as could be. Excellent. Okay, Anneli, the floor is yours. I think it's Anneli. Yep, Anneli. No worries, my friend. I know I'm, I'm assuming you probably just joined the live stream and didn't know, so don't worry about it. I did throw your line in, and then we'll get you involved in the next round. We're just wrapping this one up. So, so far we've got this, and it's really good. I'm really, I'm really enjoying it. Birds sang through blue skies, with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds, a swirly fluffy mess of sweet pictures that lingered in my head. As the birds flew high, more gliding pudding kisses appeared, and I smiled, thinking briefly of where those birds were headed, and reminded me of something beautiful moulded. This passing day was sweet as could be. I'm going to throw in a full stop there if that's good that's okay with everyone uh, and I smiled thinking briefly I just fell off my chair when my arm did anyway and I smiled thinking briefly of where those birds were headed and reminded me of something beautifully molded this passing day was sweet as could be This has actually turned out pretty pretty uh, good time-wise because we, we're going to wrap this up and then um, we may only have time for one round for the last uh, game because we will probably wrap up about half past. That's my target anyway. An hour and a half of writing with you guys and it's been really fun and I think we got some good stuff out of this. I hope you've enjoyed it. Just gonna stretch. I'll be right back. Oh, I think I just cracked every vertebrae in my back with birds and gliding. Put oh, she's dropped another one. That's three. She's dropped another one, guys. 
Okay. There's a lot of pudding kisses flying, gliding around. <laughs> With birds and gliding pudding kisses in the sky. All right. So the final line. Take us home, Delgal. The last line of the poem is all yours. With birds and gliding pudding kisses in the sky. It's awesome. Great. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's been great. Thank you. I'm really enjoying it. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds, a swirling fluffy mess of sweet pictures that lingered in my head. As the birds flew high, I added my line of three comments up. Indeed it is. Um, I've already put it in the poem, my friend. With birds and gliding pudding kisses in the sky. Yep. Uh, where was I? He got it. Good job. I know you think I'm slow, Nelly, but I've already got it in the poem. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was embarrassing. That was awkward. Don't ever do that again, Adam. Dusk is drawing in the gliding pudding kisses. We got another one, folks. That's four. That's a lot of gliding pudding kisses fading fast. I don't know what that last bit is. I don't know. Um, maybe that's a different language. Otisia. I'm not sure what that means, but I'll put it in anyway, just in case. Dusk is drawing. Yeah. Whoa. Dusk is drawing in. The gliding, the gliding pudding kisses. I think most people got the prompt in there. Well done. <laughs> this is fading fast. Otosia. I'm not sure what that is. You'll have to tell everyone. Getting ready for a new day. Please do explain what that means. I don't know if that's... I don't know. But anyway, there's our poem. I think most of you dropped that prompt in. Very good. Well done. So, before we move on to the next round, I'll just read that back for you all. And our second poem is this. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses. I don't know how I'm saying that seriously. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. A swirling, fluffy mess of sweet pictures. I always stumble over my words. Let me start again. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. A swirling, fluffy mess of sweet pictures that lingered in my head. As the birds flew high, more gliding pudding kisses appeared, and I smiled, thinking briefly of where those birds were headed, and reminded me of something beautiful moulded. This passing day was sweet as could be, with birds and gliding pudding kisses in the sky. Dusk is drawing in, the gliding pudding kisses fading fast. Our hosts here yeah, getting ready for a new day. Don't know myself. Okay, we got a beat poet in here just making up words. I like it. I like it. I respect it. And I'm gonna I'm not even gonna take it out because let's talk gobbledygooch. Oh man, I am hungry. Okay. We kind of just did it. But this is the fourth round. Uh Kunal, I will have you in here now. I'll set up the running order just now. And I'm gonna write a single line inclusion. So again, it's the same as last time, pretty much. Um, someone, or apparently all of us, have to put this sentence somewhere in 
the poem. No pretext. That's okay. We're poets. We're creatives. We do whatever we want. If we want to make up a saying, oha siya, oho siya, that's what we're going to do. All right, cool. So I'm going to think of a sentence. And then I'll come up with the word prompt. If there's anyone watching that would like to take part, please do drop something in the chat to let me know that you want to take part and I will get you in. Okay, a line prompt. This might be really hard, but I trust that you guys can do it. I believe in you. All right, so running order. I did it again. My spot right here. Okay, cool. So, assuming that there's nobody else that wants to take part, the running order is me, Anneli, Delgal, Kunal, Chelo, and Felicia. If you're all ready to crack on, the single line inclusion, the, the line that we have to get into the poem somewhere or everywhere, is, and the sweet stag's antler impaled. That's quite a difficult one, but I trust that you guys, you've got the chops, you can do this. So let me know when everyone's ready. Give me a okay or a yes from everyone and then we'll get started. making sure we're all still here and ready to go and I'm going to disappear for two seconds okay Dale girl's ready to go you're locked in I'm going to quickly stretch my back again okay we're all good very ready that's the spirit I like your energy very ready okay cool I think is that everyone and Nelly, are you all good? Are you with us, my friend? Delgo, yep. Felicia, yep. Jalo, yep. Felicia, yep. Oh, that's a sweetly dark one. Yes, it is. It is. But we can do it. Canal's ready. Cool. I'll just wait for Anneli because she is second in the queue. So I do need to make sure that Anneli is still with us. You see what I mean? I'm a very dark person. I don't know why. I don't do it on purpose. It's just, this is the stuff that comes to mind. Can you type the line, please? Yep. I haven't got, yeah, so I will, t yes. So this is what we have to put in the poem, but this isn't my line. So that's what we have to get in the poem, but that's not my opening line. I'm going to write the opening line now, and then I'll put it in the chat. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I know you guys may think I'm lazy but it leaves it open for the next person. And maybe I am just being a tiny bit lazy. I don't know, forgive me. You guys are killing it. You don't need me to write uh, a good poem because you guys, you're a talented lot, trust me. 
oak trees. Oak trees stood firm. All right, and Ellie, I've just put my opening line in the chat. Um, the second one is the opening line. So do feel free to follow it up. Follow up the line, oak trees stood firm. I think we're going to go over the uh, par 5 mark, aren't we? But that's okay. Don't feel bad. I'm not complaining. I'm having fun. I'm just trying to think about the people who might watch this back after we're live. They probably would have gotten bored by now. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter because we're having fun. My screen keeps flickering. I don't know why. Really need to sort this facial hair out. I'm going a bit. I'm going a bit caveman, as they have for centuries. All right, Del Gal, the floor is yours. Oak trees stood firm as they have for centuries. Oak trees stood firm as they have for centuries. Should really bring in a bottle of water for these sort of things. Oh, I think we might have picked that up. Oh no. It's picking up some of it. I'm tapping my knee if anyone's wondering what's going on. Can you type the line, please? Do, 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 do. Whereabouts is everyone from? Whilst we wait for Del Girl's line. Yes, it is Del Girl's line. Whereabouts is everyone from that's watching? Ooh, prompt time. Lost. Lusty loincloth time. Ah, oh, Bruno, you're a bit too late, my friend. We're already on the last game. No lo lusty loincloth smiling today, I'm afraid. How long have you been in this live stream, Bruno? The shadow of a sweet stag antlers impaled in the ground as he peeked. Louisiana, nice. As he peeked from behind a tree. She has used the prompt, ladies and gentlemen. And I really like it. Australia. 2.30 a.m. Oh, Thank you so much for watching. Wow. Wow. We better get you to bed, my friend. The shadow of... That is a beautiful line, by the way. The shadow of a sweet stag impaled. Oh, in, where are we? Impaled in the ground from behind a tree. Nice. Hope it's going well. Yes, it's going really well. Yeah, it's been really fun. We got an, a really good poem out of it. So, we're just finishing up on the last one. And Delgal has used the prompt, ladies and gentlemen. Drop the mic. It's a beautiful line. Oak trees stood firm as they have for centuries. The shadow of a sweet stag impaled in the ground from behind a tree. That's a beautiful line. 
Love it. Okay, who's next? So, Kunal, telling something that want to come out being free. There it is. Uh, I'm going to change that to once, I think. I might change that and be free, if that's okay, Canal. If you don't mind me doing that. Telling something that wants to come out and be free. Is that okay? Do you mind if I change it to that? Otherwise, I c I'm happy to put your line in it. I just... Oak trees stood firm, as they have for centuries. The shadow of a sweet stag impaled in the ground from behind a tree, telling something that wants to come out and be free. From India here, it's 10pm. Wow, man. Thank you so much for watching. I'd be in bed by now. Yeah, cool. Thank you, Canal. Okay, Chelo, take it away, my friend. Oak trees stood firm as they have for centuries. The shadow of a sweet stag impaled in the ground from behind a tree, telling something that wants to come out and be free. That beautiful creature, majestic and disgraced. Oh, good line. Beautiful. Great juxtaposition. Beautiful creature. Majestic and disgraced. Oh, great imagery. Man, you are some very pa talented poets, my friends. I really enjoyed writing with you all. Uh, we'll see what Felicia says, but I think the way this is heading, this could be the last line. And that's not just because I'm in a hurry to uh, wrap it up for timing-wise. Uh, I have really genuinely enjoyed this. This has been good. I'm going to have to do these more often. But the poem genuinely feels like uh, a shorty, a micro-poem. Oak trees stood firm as they have for centuries. The shadow of a sweet stag impaled in the ground from behind a tree, telling something that wants to come out and be free. That beautiful creature, majestic and disgraced. Oak trees stood firm, as they have for centuries, the shadow of a sweet stag impaled in the ground from behind a tree, telling something that wants to come out and be free. That beautiful creature, majestic and disgraced. I still can't believe that so many of you are uh, up so late watching this. I really appreciate that. 2.30 in the morning. Wow. Thank you. Forever it shall wander in the shadow of shadows. Forever it shall wander in the shadow of shadows. Wow. Oak trees stood firm as they have for centuries, the shadow of a sweet stag impaled in the ground from behind a tree, telling something that wants to come out and be free. That beautiful creature, majestic and disgraced, forever it shall wander in the shadows of shadows. Yep, I got it, Felicia. Thank you. I'm just trying to determine if that's the end of the poem or if we... Should... Let's go another round. I think it can go another round. It's not quite finished yet. Beautiful line, Felicia. Oak trees stood firm as they have for centuries. The shadow of a sweet stag impaled in the ground from behind a tree. 
Telling something that wants to come out and be free. That beautiful creature, majestic and disgraced, forever it shall wander in the shadows of shadows. It's amazing so far. You guys are so talented. You don't need me here. I'm just I'm just going to go and make a coffee and let you guys crack on. Okay, let's go one more round and wrap it up. I'm going to have to quickly search something up. I just have to quickly Google something. Ah, okay, cool. Wait, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Alone with no her. Thank you. You did magnificent too. Everyone did. Thanks everyone. Today we did some good stuff. We have. Yep. Yeah, I'm just going to go one more round, Anneli. Unless you've got to go, of course. If you've got to go, no problem. We've lost. I think we've lost everyone, actually. Have we lost everyone? We've lost a lot of viewers. So I just, before I continue, I want to make sure everyone's still here. If everyone's still here, just give me an okay or a yet. Otherwise, I will sign off. I think I just lost everyone, did I? Oops. Okay, Delgirl's still here. We've still got Delgirl. We've still got Canal. Did we lose an Ellie? We've still got Chalo. Okay, good. We've still got most people. I think I just lost an Ellie. I said goodbye too soon. Thanks everyone, today we did some good stuff. Oops. Um, I'm just waiting to see if we've still got uh, Felicia and Anneli. Present, we still got Felicia, okay great. We are, class is still in session. And the Nelly's still here. Okay, cool. Sorry for the confusion, everyone. I just saw all the viewers just... <laughs> I say all the viewers, but we went from eight, I think, to five. Okay, so let's just uh, finish this poem off. Sorry about that. So, alone with no herd, it laid down to rest. I mean, it's antlers stuck in the ground, so I don't even know if it can lay down. I assume so, just not very comfortably. And don't forget, you write whatever you want. This doesn't have to be. This doesn't have to go down a sad route. I wrote a haiku in in Tuesday's video about it's good to be alone sometimes. There's strength in in being alone. Still here, yes, and Ellie, it's your turn. It's your line, my friend. I've put the I've put my line in the chat. You should be able to see it. This is Shadow Adam. Okay, well then this is his shadow too. I mean, I would have thought that if there's a shadow, there must be something that creates the shadow. But that's fine. The shadow has laid down to rest without a herd of fellow shadows. I am here. Yes, Anneli, it's your, it's your line, my friend. It's your, it's your turn. My line is, um, alone with no herd, it laid down to rest. And I'm also talking about the shadow. Okay, I'm definitely not. I forgot it was just a shadow, but it still works. It still works.
Oak trees stood firm, as they have for centuries, the shadow of a sweet stag impaled in the ground from behind a tree, telling something that wants to come out and be free, that beautiful creature, majestic and disgraced, forever it shall wander in the shadows of shadows, alone with no herd, it lay down to rest. I mean, this is the exciting thing about this game, is you don't know where it's going to go, you don't know what the person before you is going to put. So it, it kind of does this lonely and vulnerable making his nest. Lonely and vulnerable. Why does it I put cats on? Vulnerable. It made its nest. His nest. Okay, Delgal, the floor is yours. Take us away. Oak trees stood firm as they have for centuries, the shadow of a sweet stag impaled in the ground from behind a tree, telling something that wants to come out and be free, that beautiful creature, majestic and disgraced, forever it shall wander in the shadows of shadows. Alone with no herd it lay down to rest, lonely and vulnerable it made its nest. I just posted it, Anelli. I think there might be a technical issue going on uh, Anelli, I think you might be experiencing some lag or latency, uh, but don't worry, I've got you. Your line is in the poem. You're probably not going to hear me say this for another 50 seconds or so, but uh, don't worry, I'm looking out for you. I got your line. Hoping that no one comes and pest pesters him while he dreams. Very nice. Good line. Definitely. Hoping that no one comes and pesters him while he dreams. Uh, Canal, take it away, my friend. Oak trees stood firm as they have for centuries, the shadow of a sweet stag impaled in the ground from behind a tree, telling something that wants to come out and be free, that beautiful cre creature, majestic and disgraced, Forever it shall wander in the shadows of shadows. Alone with no herd, it laid down to rest. Lonely and vulnerable, it made his nest. Hoping that no one comes and pesters him while he dreams. Sorry, I'm missing out words. Okay, Canal, my friend, the floor is yours. Wander alone, or wonder alone, with thoughts and feelings it brings. Nice. We're getting some rhymes going on here, folks. Rhyming is in the house. Wander alone, with thoughts and feelings it brings. Okay, cello, my friend. We pass the mantle to you. Remember, we're wrapping up the poem now as well. So, Chelo and Felicia, you have the honours of bringing it home. He finds his escape a bittersweet peace. Whew. Whew. Loving it, folks. You're all very good. Damn. Damn. That is a good poem. Oak trees stood firm as they have for centuries. No, that's a bad reading. Oak trees stood firm as they have for centuries. The shadow of a sweet stag impaled in the ground from behind a tree. Telling something that wants to come out and be free. That beautiful creature, majestic and disgraced. 
Forever it shall wander in the shadows of shadows. Alone, with no herd, it laid down to rest. Lonely and vulnerable, it made his nest. Hoping that no one comes and pesters him while he dreams. Wander alone, with thought and thoughts and feelings it brings. He finds his escape, a bittersweet peace. I noticed I had a typo somewhere. Where did it go? Yes, hoping that no one comes. Pesters him while he dreams. Wander alone, with thoughts and feelings it brings. Wow, we're coming up to nearly the two hour mark, folks. I can't believe you've given me two hours of your time. I hope it's been worth it. I really hope it's been worth two hours of your time. Even my Patreon write-alongs don't last this long. I have to make a thumbnail for this as well. It's gone quick. It has really gone quick. That's a good sign, right? That's a good sign. Though he is trapped, his fighting spirit shall never cease. Ah, drop the mic, and that is our final line. Though he is trapped. His fighting spirit shall never cease. Beautiful, yep, very lovely way to end my day. Excellent. Okay, everyone, that does conclude the write along. I'm just going to read through all the poems. I lost the chat again. I'm going to read through all the poems we've written today, and then I will say thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for being subscribed to my channel. Thank you for giving me two hours of your time, and thank you for sharing your work with me. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to quickly read through all the poems, then I'll catch up on the comments and I'll say my goodbyes. And good night to some of you. Okay, so the second game. The genre was funny. I fe fell face first into the puddle. Oh no, wait, start again. Thought there was a lot. That was my Patreon one. Okay. Okay. The thing I hate most about walking in the woods is all the birds pooping on my head. Upon that, the birds' quack sounded as laughters, their mocking honks leaving me scathed. If only I could fly up there and give them a piece of my mind. But usually I find, if I break off a branch, they fly high in the sky, weaving in and out, teasing me with their screeching. And all I wanted was to make them stop pooping on my head, not scare them off. Why can't we just be harmonious? Perhaps tomorrow I'll go outside and give being a bird a good try. And then the second one we wrote, we, we wrote together. Birds sang through blue skies with gliding pudding kisses streaking the clouds. A swirling fluffy mess of sweet pictures that lingered in my head as the birds flew high. More gliding pudding... Oh wait. Oh shit. Wait, oh. Messed that one up. As the birds flew high, more gliding pudding kisses appeared. And I smiled, thinking briefly of where those, those birds were headed, and reminded me of something beautiful moulded. This passing day was sweet as could be, with birds and gliding pudding kisses in the sky. Dusk is drawing in. The gliding pudding kisses fading fast. Oho siya, getting ready for a new day. I messed that one up big time, I'm sorry. And then finally, oak trees stood firm as they have for centuries. The shadow of a sweet stag impaled in the ground from behind a tree, telling something that wants to come out and be free. That beautiful creature, majestic and disgraced, forever it shall wander in the shadows of shadows. Alone, with no herd, it laid down to rest. 
Lonely and vulnerable, it made his nest. Hoping that no one comes and pesters him while he dreams, wonder alone with thoughts and feelings it brings. He finds his escape, a bittersweet peace. Though he is trapped, his fighting spirit shall never cease. Well done, guys. Well done. That was really amazing. Let me just catch up on some comments. Uh, it's been brilliant. Very nice. Very nice. Well done, everyone. Hope to see you all again if Adam, you'll do another one. I'd definitely do another one if people want me to. Is my line visible? Yep, we got your line. It's my first time here on your channel, and I just loved it, brother. I was searching for Insta Poetry videos. Yours popped up, and I watched it, then came to the love the stream i just love it thank you so much canal i really appreciate you being here my friend excellent work everyone you're all amazing writers i just started my instagram channel alone i will follow you right away deep breaths adam you got this thank you so much everyone genuinely it's been a really great two hours great way to spend my time uh with everything that's going on it's good to have something like this if you guys want to do another one i'm happy to do another one at another time uh, in the meantime stay safe everyone stay sensible look out for yourselves and everyone around you and uh, 